So the winter weather is uh, hitting the Sierra right now. It has been for some time. Take a look here. Time lapse video from the alert California camera on Banner Mountain that is near Nevada <laughs> City. Yeah, boy, that is great to say the least. We do have team coverage for you this, as this is a Sierra weather impact day. KCR 3's Melanie Wingo in live tracker three with a closer look at conditions. But we start with meteorologist Heather Wallman with a look at the day ahead. Yeah, the snow's been picking up over the last couple of hours this morning and by late this morning, it's going to be heavy around the Tahoe Basin up above 6,000 feet, especially we're expecting snow accumulations as low as 3,000 feet. Of course, at that altitude, relatively minor accumulation, but pop possibly enough for chain controls. We are currently seeing snow at least indicated on radar as low as Colfax on Interstate 80 and as low as the Pollock Pines area on Highway 50. You can see the snow starting to fill in along 80. It's coming down more steadily at Donner Summit. This is a live look Highway 50 at Myers. Rain kind of hitting the camera. There's a mix of some rain and snow snow here, but you can see the roads some slow going and this is a look at 80 near the Truckee area right where it connects with Highway 89. And yeah, the trucks, the cars moving slow in both directions. Chains currently required along Interstate 80, two miles east of Baxter, all the way up over the summit through Truckee. Right now, Caltrans saying no chains required on Highway 50 at this moment, but you just saw that look from Myers. That is likely to change here shortly. On Highway 88, you'll need the chains from Hand Station to Peddler Hill. You will also need them going up over Pickett's Junction in Alpine County. Something we're watching in the valley and the lower foothills, a little bit of fog, kind of a damp start to the day in a lot of spots. Grass Valley visibility less than a quarter of a mile. Uh, visibility kind of marginal around the Auburn area, one and a quarter mile here at the top of the hour. Jackson, San Andreas visibility between about a quarter mile and a half mile. All of these areas had light but persistent drizzle yesterday, so all that moisture just kind of adding up here first thing this morning. But overall, along I-5, visibility has been just fine. Same thing going along Interstate 80. It's going to be a snowy day in the Sierra, but as far as rain goes in the valley, not a whole lot coming our way. I'll time everything out for you with Futurecast in just a little bit, but we do want to get you up to the Sierra. That's where Melanie Wingo is. She took live tracker three up the hill. Melanie, how's it looking? Well, it is looking snowy as you have been talking about and Tamara has been talking about throughout the morning. Right now, we're going to show everyone how things look at the chain control checkpoint at Truckee. OK, so what we did is we headed eastbound on Interstate 80 and then we hooked around at Truckee and now we're headed back westbound on I-80. And this is what folks will run into in advance of getting past Truckee. This is the chain control checkpoint. Obviously, lots of big rigs pulled off to the side of the road. Also, cars, trucks without four wheel drive have to chain up. They got to put on those traction devices if they don't have all wheel drive and good snow weather, all weather or snow tires on their all wheel drive vehicles. Then once you approach the chain control checkpoint, you have to give the high sign to the uh, Caltrans worker up there and let them know that you either have chains on your rig or all wheel drive and then you are able to go over the summit earlier this morning you're looking at the conditions we encountered we first hit up Nyack on the way eastbound on i-80 folks had to chain up their rigs there and then we saw some flurries as we went on up through Donner Summit. And then as we descended on into Truckee on I-80 eastbound, we saw those trucks having to pull the chains off of their rigs. So there's that whole mountain pass area where they have the chains on and then they have to take them off. So if you pop back out live to us now, we are approaching that train chain control checkpoint as we speak. We're going to talk to the guys here, let them know that we are all set with Four all wheel, wheel drive. drive. Thanks, fellas. And then they let us through. So that's helpful for us. What we do want to pass along to you today is some very important information about folks who have children in the Sierra here. The Tahoe, Truckee and Lake Tahoe Unified School Districts are closed because of the conditions. We just received that word into our newsroom this morning that those districts are closed. And so we wanted to pass that information along to you. And it's because of the conditions that you're seeing out here in the Sierra communities. So that's a slice of what's happening right now out here on I-80 near Truckee. We're going to head on west 
and we'll check back in with you a little bit later in the newscast. Brandy and Teo, back to you. All right, Melanie, thanks so much. You guys be safe out there. We did hear uh, photographer Brandon Atchison at the wheel. Uh, and of course, folks, we will continue to track the snow throughout the day for the very latest on your forecast and road conditions. Just download the KCRA 3 app and turn on your push alerts.